Hi there, students. An upwelling, upwelling, a noun, are both countable and uncountable. This means to effectively come up. We have the phrasal verb to well up. For example, tears welled up in his eyes. There was an upwelling of tears in his eyes. Okay, so um, upwelling is where something comes from a lower source and comes out. Very often we use this with an upwelling of emotion. I could see an upwelling of deep emotion uh, in his face when uh, he uh, saw his grandchildren for the first time. Okay, an act of rising up, yeah, and this is an upwelling. Now, you we also use this word, an upwelling, to talk about oceanography, oceans, and an upwelling is an ocean current that comes from the bottom of the ocean and lifts things up to, uh, lifts the water up to the surface. And um, an upwelling means that uh, there is, there, the water in that area is very, very rich in food. Now, you see this mussel shell, it's well, it's uh, a good part of my hand, and this is due to the um, the Canary Island upwelling um, that in this in uh, in north northwestern Spain the uh, seafood grows enormous. Um, and this is because of the upwelling. Plankton and other things come from the bottom of the sea and are lifted to the surface. And this is an upwelling, an upward flow, an upward current of uh, water uh, from the, the, the bottom of the sea. Um, and this attracts fish because uh, it, it, it's a, a great place for them. It's full of full of food and nutrients and things like that. And that's that's also an upwelling. Okay, so an upwelling. Um, for example, let's go an upwelling of public support. This sounds like a uh, a grassroots movement where there was an upwelling of public support for um, the project. Yeah, it suddenly appeared. Yeah, um, there was an upwelling of sadness in his voice. It suddenly welled up. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking from the Bible where Moses strikes the rock and the water comes out. I guess there's an upwelling of water from from the rock in in that in that uh, example. Okay, so um, rising to the surface, rising to the surface and flowing outward. That's why it's good for the emotion. The emotion comes up inside you and then comes out. There was an upwelling of anger. Uh, among the people of the country when they uh, discovered the uh, government corruption that had been going on. Yeah, and then upwelling in oceanography, uh, water coming from uh, dense cooler water that comes to the surface, it's nu nutrient rich. You can actually have a downwelling where the water at the surface goes down uh, as well, but well, that that from a point of seafood is uh, a little bit le less interesting. Okay, so um, upwelling, yeah, upwelling of water. Um, okay, from the, from our phrasal verb to well up, uh, an instance of of coming out of 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 appearing uh, ever e e from what appears to be nowhere. Okay, so. Um, an upwelling. So in oceanography, formality, hmm, an upwelling. I'm going to give it a 6.5, semi-formal conversation, semi-formal writing. An upwelling of emotion, a sudden strong feeling of, of emotion coming up. 6.5 to 7 in form formality, semi-formal writing or above uh, again. Okay, so upwelling. 
Um, yeah, I guess that's it. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. And look, that's why you have a, a, an upwelling's an important thing. That's enormous. Bye for now.